man who has done it all, and I'm talking about from amateur wrestling, uh, football at the University of Minnesota, demolition derbies, you name it. He's been there, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair. That's right, and always done it better than any other human being. Whatever I wanted in life was mine, because I said so. And when I took this, the World Heavyweight Championship from Dusty Rhodes, I beat every bit of competition from Tommy Rich to the Funks to the Briscoes to Bob Backlund. And speaking of Bob Backlund, and speaking of New York, can you imagine there was some question around the country as to whether or not Ric Flair, the world champion, would have any trouble with competition from New York? They sent down their best to the Army, to Atlanta, where if it doesn't happen in professional wrestling, if it doesn't happen in the Army, it doesn't happen in professional wrestling. You know that, and I know it. The finest stars in the wrestling world filtrate through Georgia and the Omni and all through the NWA. So New York, whenever you think you got somebody else that the world champion can't handle, send them down. Or if you're ready to pay the price, and I don't come cheap. You know it cost me about five grand to get that Learjet started. I'll fly right into New York City and I'll walk right into Madison Square Garden anytime they're ready. Until then, Ric Flair will remain the finest and the greatest world champion of them all. Let me ask you this, Mr. Flair, and I can certainly understand your feelings, but obviously, I would say right now in this area, there's some of the greatest competition in the world. No doubt about it. Great competition. Here's one of them right now. You got something to say, sweetheart? Sure this is do. my interview, brother. I got something to say. You know, Gordon, a little bit, I heard, overheard what he said. He's beaten everybody around the country, around New York. That's very true, Rick. You have beaten everybody. But you know, last time in the Omni, I happened to beat a man from New York also. His name was Jimmy Snooker. You've beaten a lot of people, but you have yet to beat me. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Right here, brother. I can see that you're very conscientious. You got some big muscles and a big, bad body. But in a few hours, we'll find out if you're man enough to tackle the world champion. That's right. We'll be back. Oh, 